G'day guys, well it's that time of the day again and well I've been hanging out for this time of the day. I just went for a massive walk and well I've been looking for a certain beer, well it's in the title, some Lowenbrau. Now my mate Tim Tucker, remember a few weeks ago he, he went crazy with some super chats and well he wanted me to well review a couple of beers which I couldn't find but the one that he wanted me to find and, and review is this one here. The old Lowenbrow. Now, I remember when I was like in Switzerland, probably 25 years ago, I was working in um, Interlaken. Oh, mate, I tell you what, if you ever want to go for a great holiday, Interlaken's awesome. And, well, I was working in a backpackers and I tell you what, I had the best time of my life ever. And, well, we used to get on the lower brows all the time. And I haven't had one since then, so this would be good to, well, just see what the lower brow was all about. So how about we crack one open? Now, needs a bottle opener. Now, these are made in Munich in Germany. And it's 5.2%. So it's nothing like, to, like, it's nothing light. It's not low in anything. But it will raise your eyebrows, I reckon. So, let's go. Oh, yeah. What's well, a nice beer color? It's crystal clear. Made with that beautiful German water, probably. What's this, 330 mils or something? Bit of a scabby bottle. I mean, this thing costs uh, 19 bucks for a six pack, so it wasn't cheap. Let's just say that. But it looks all right. Look at the color of that. It's like, you can see my face right through it. Look at my eye. Oh, good eye. Greg here. Whoa. Looks like a, so crystal clear. Mate. Oh, oh man. Oh, that smells like a real good old lager, you know, just, that walking past the pub smell. Oh, a little bit of sweetness, but oh man, it smells so nice. The head's disappeared a little fast, but maybe I didn't pour it well enough. But the bu bubbles coming up are real like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, it looks like champagne. From my, my angle, it looked like champagne anyway. It's very champagne looking. Right here. Oh yeah, a classic European taste, but even better than that. It's almost a classic Aussie taste. It's got a beautiful blend of, of hops and malt there. I mean, it's, it's nice and sort of sweetish and it leaving, it's leaving like a little sweet aftertaste on my tongue, but the hops in there, it's just like, mate, they've just disappeared. Mate, it's wow. I saw on the back of this here, hang on. It said, uh, ingredients, water, malted barley, hops, and hop extract. Hmm, okay. But man, this is nice. This is really tasty. I'm really enjoying this. Oh, oh yeah. I'm liking this. No, I could, I could pound a whole six pack of this in a heartbeat, which wouldn't be a very wise thing to do, would it? It'd be a whole lot of fun, but it wouldn't be that wise. Mmm. Oh, man, it's, it's just a really nice tasting beer, this one. It's, <laughs> it's just like, it just tastes like an Aussie beer should taste. It's really smooth, it's full bodied, it's really tasty, and I'm gonna give that a 4.75 out of five. Why would I take 0.25 off? <laughs> Mate, because that's what I can do, because it's my YouTube channel. But yeah, man, I'd be, um, I'd be drinking this by the carton. How much was it a carton? 
Oof. I don't know, 57 bucks or something. Man, that is nice. Ooh, I'll tell you what, I'm giving it five stars. That is tasty as for today. I'm sure tomorrow if I had it, I probably wouldn't like it as much. That's why I don't usually give things, you know, top scores. Because some days, you know, you're thirstier than other days. And some days beers taste better than the next day. Four point seven five. It's got sort of a saltiness about it, actually. Mm, might have been that meat pie I had. All right, let's see what the old uh, app says. Friends, check in. One and a half. What the hell? How can you do that, Simon Henry? One and a half. Jeez, mate. Yeah, uh, but all. Um, three point one four. Are you serious? Man, this is a great beer. It's even got 19 IBUs, whatever that is. Um, it's brewed according to the purity law that dates back to 1516. Gee. It is refreshing yet characteristic. Slightly dry, spicy? Hmm. With a trace of malt and delectability bitter. Sure, whatever you say. Uh, wow, it's getting some low scores. Well, the highest one I'm seeing is four at the moment. No one's even saying anything. Glad that I, didn't, I didn't give it a five. It would have been embarrassing. But to me, this is beautiful beer. Mmm, yum. Mate, everyone, they're clueless. These people are clueless. That's a good beer. Mmm, yum. Anyway... Uh, I'm resting at 4.75. Everyone else must be wrong. Or they, they must be just, I don't know. But today, right now, this beer tasted awesome. So I'm glad I still got five to go. I'm not sure if they'll last very long though. It, they taste so good, I don't think they will. Mm. It's pretty rare I just uh, drink a whole beer through a, a review, but I just did. Mm. Maybe I should only give it a 4.5 after finishing it like that. Mm. Four and a half. Right, yeah, well, that's today's review. Thanks for watching and well. <laughs> Cheers.